Our next guest believes that investing in bonds today doesn't mean searching for big pots of gold. Joining us this morning is PIMCO's uh, senior VP and market strategist, Tony Crescenzi. He's uh, at the NABE conference in Denver, Colorado. And Tony, uh, good to find you there. Um, okay, so we just had a guest on, Alan Meltzer, who completely thinks that the Fed is committing sin after sin. It's going to commit another sin by going in the markets and buying bonds. And he says eventually bond investors are going to wake up and they're going to see that the prices are going to crash. Do you disagree? Well, he is a monetarist, and uh, monetarists worry about the printing of money. Uh, but those who worry about the printing of money should be thinking about where that money is going. Each and every day, the money the Fed has put in the system essentially is withdrawn from the system because the money is deposited back at the Federal Reserve to earn a 0.25% interest, interest rate. Uh, the, the banks that the, that the Fed is injecting the money into are, would, aren't lending the money out. We see right. that in the weekly it's just loan sitting figures. There. Yes. And so, so bond investors will only fret about the money in the system when the money in the system is multiplying. When we, as we say, the money multiplier is increasing and the money supply is increasing concomitantly. But that's not been happening because consumers would rather pay down debts than add on new ones. And so the money in the system is not a big worry from bond investors currently. Tony always gives these diplomatic and very smart answers. <laughs> but Warren Buffett recently came out and said investors are making a mistake. Didn't he, if they think that's stocks right. are not the better option than bonds at this point. I mean, we've seen this run of 10% for the S&P since the start of September. Treasury yields have exactly. continued to slide. Right. He said, basically, if you're looking for return, why are you going to go into the bond markets when you're getting yields of what, you know, zero point less something per percent? Yeah. Exactly. Less than half a percent. And, and you know, and, and, and hasn't got, hasn't improved over the last several months. Yeah. I mean, you know, Tony, I mean, that's a great point. I mean, Tony, you know, what do you make of that, that even people, that people like Buffett are coming out and saying that? Well, uh, the idea of stocks for the long run is something we heard even over a decade ago. And of course, there's been a lost decade for stocks. They, they're well below their peak, of course, of 14,000 and change in 2007. So perhaps, who knows, over short periods of time, that makes sense. But think about a 60-year-old. What is a 60-year-old thinking about where their money should be? Wouldn't they rather be higher in the ca so-called capital structure? Wouldn't they be but rather be in just, assets right, that but, are but, but, likely but, to be their much out there? Right, but what I'm trying to figure out, though, is that you know the yields are so low why is anybody still going to go into the bond markets? Why is Japan still buying U.S. Treasury? You know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, the yields are just so low. <laughs> low relative to what? You could say that about Japan as well. Optically, the 1% interest rate for the 10-year in Japan is extremely low because that's how it looks on paper. But it's not extremely low relative to the deflation rate of minus one and a half percent and change. So it has to be compared to that. And of course, again, in the context of one's age, demographics matter a great deal. And there is a protection element here, an insurance element that matters. Now, this is an environment where you can't go looking for treasure chests. You have to look for jewels and coins. And in the bond market, in the many segments that exist, whether it's munis, asset-backed securities, mortgages, treasuries, the swaps market, Market, et cetera, there are jewels and coins, but you have to search for them right. differently than before. You can't do what investors have done for 30 years mm -hmm. and ride what they call the duration tailwind and buy the longest maturity possible. You have to be pick, you have to be very active, professional, and, and expert yeah. and pick these various segments of the market and look for those coins and jewels. And Tony, it's Sheila Damaraj in here. No doubt bonds are higher up in the capital structure, provide more protection for investors. But you also talk about this concept of a Keynesian endpoint, which is basically all the developed economies maxing out their balance sheets. So how do you balance the two points of view? Well, we have the Keynesian endpoint means that countries have reached the last balance sheet. We know that Greece has reached the last balance sheet. Investors are unwilling to give Greece money. Uh, right now, investors are quite willing to give Europe money, but will they be willing to give uh, Europe money in the future if Greece, Ireland, uh, Portugal, et cetera, have difficulties. We don't know yet that they'll be able to fund that, uh, that the stabilization faci facility that they have. Right. Uh, that's a long-run concern. The, the long-run concern uh, uh, underlying markets in general is the sovereign debt dilemma. Okay. Countries have a lot of debt, and the deleveraging process is going to last years. This is a matter of right. uh, a seven years fees, seven years famine. Okay. And so we should expect that the deleveraging process will affect the economies for a long um, time. And Tony, just really quickly, let me just end on a practical note then. What do you expect to hear from the Fed today in those minutes? 
Much of what we've seen in the public remarks, Ben Bernanke has had an opportunity, other Fed officials have, to tell us what they think. And we see a wide variety of views, of course, about the efficacy of QE and uh, how much this should be. Uh, okay. So some more detail about how much, when, uh, will all come out today. And I think we'll get a little more clarity, but not complete clarity.